everyone. Welcome to your Friday. Welcome to a bit of self-love and self-care. I'm a minute early. So if you're watching this, I invite you to prepare a nice space for you to meditate in for the next 15 minutes around you, make sure that there's comfortable space, comfortable place to sit or maybe lie down. If anyone's here, you can send me a message, send me a comment, write a comment. I'm just saying that you're here, saying hello. <clears throat> Welcome. So yeah, give me a hi or a wave on the comments. Make sure you're in a comfortable space, a relaxing space. So you are welcome to sit in this meditation. You're welcome to lie down. Aww, hi Ting and mum. <laughs> So we're sitting comfortably or we're lying down and I'll introduce myself. My name is Kim. I'm a yoga teacher and a workshop facilitator and I am very happy to be with you virtually here today and really excited to give this meditation self-love tool to you guys and to pass it on as a messenger. So please close your eyes. Please close your eyes. Get comfy, wriggle your bum and sit nice and comfortable. Maybe feet resting on the floor or sitting in Sukhasana with legs crossed, maybe lying down. Shoulders are down away from ears, spine is long. Bring awareness to breath. Let the breath weave naturally throughout your body, throughout your being. Natural breath flowing in and out of nostrils. So this next 15 minutes is for you. It's a gift from you to yourself, from me to you. There is nothing else you have to do in the next 15 minutes. If you're semi-working, semi-watching this video, put away your work, center yourself, place your phone screen down if you're looking on your laptop and other devices are around, please close them, place them down so that you can really feel the benefits of this meditation. Let's take an inhale through nose deeply. Exhale, part the lips, breathe out. One more inhalation through nose. And exhale, part the lips. Keep eyes closed, keep eyes closed. Remember there's nothing you have to do, this next 15 minutes is for you. We're going to go on a journey in our minds. All you have to do is relax and enjoy the ride. So let's settle even deeper into a state of relaxation with eyes closed in a position that feels comfortable. Drawing energy down towards earth, but also at the same time, energetically rising up through crown of head. Softness throughout your body. Gentle breath flowing.
feeling the gentle rise and fall of the chest with each inhalation and each exhalation. Let go of your to-do list, let go of anything that you have to do after this. Nothing is more important than this very moment, and this moment is really all you have. It's all we can be sure about. So settle in. Calm the mind. Relax the body. As you settle in, settle down even deeper, feel a sense of relaxation wash over you, wash over your body, wash through your mind. Let go of your thinking mind and draw your consciousness and your awareness even deeper within. Centered, grounded. With your mind's eye, imagine yourself, see yourself sitting in a room, in a white walled room. A beautiful room with beautiful wooden floors, a soft and calm space and you're sitting in relaxation in this gorgeous room. Light is coming through the windows and shining down on the wooden floorboards. And you feel calm, comfortable in this familiar space. Sitting comfortably in meditation, visualizing this room that you're in. Let's go on a journey together. Let's go on a walk. So again, with your mind's eye, imagine yourself coming to stand up and walking over to a door leading out of the room. Walk slowly towards the door and the door leads to a spiral staircase. A spiral staircase, you open the door and this space is familiar and warm to you. You slowly place your hand and walk down, hand on the banisters. You slowly plod one foot at a time, gently make your way down the spiral staircase. Body feels weightless, step move with ease. And as you make your way down to the bottom of the staircase, next to you is a beautiful house, a beautiful house. And in front of the house is a gorgeous garden, a garden filled with flowers, plants, vegetables, fruits, and you make your way through the garden, you walk through the garden, and maybe you walk barefooted and feel the earth, the grass underneath your feet with each step. And you look around you in this garden and you see your favorite, favorite flowers and your plants. You see bees buzzing around, birds collecting. butterflies and you walk through softly, plod your way through the garden which is walled by hedges, by beautiful green hedges and trees and past the garden you look and you see a beautiful lake, a beautiful lake and you start to walk towards the lake 
The garden is now behind you, the lake is in front of you, and you walk down the hill to the lake. And you walk slowly. Once you find your way to the edge of the lake, you look around. And the lake is surrounded by big, beautiful trees, tall and towering. And you feel safe here. You're in a safe space, looking out at a beautiful lake. And you come to sit down in front of this lake. Maybe crossing your legs. And you sit and watch the beautiful lake the tranquil, calm, serene body of water. Calmness washes over you once again. And on the surface of the lake, you see blossoming lotus flowers bobbing on the surface. Gorgeous pinks, violets, white, Lotus flowers in full bloom. With your mind's eye, you picture these flowers on this lake in front of you, visualizing this scene of serenity. And you take some time to acknowledge the life of the lotus flower. The roots of the lotus flower going deep down through the bed of the lake. The stem rising up through the murky, dark water. Rising and rising up until it reaches the surface of the water, surface of the lake. And there, only there, can it bloom into something absolutely majestically lovely and you really feel connected to this growth of the beautiful lotus because despite the dirty murkiness the darkness of the lake the lotus can bloom and flourish and it was almost necessary for this murkiness, for this darkness, to allow the lotus to grow and as a result blossom and bloom. And then you look within yourself. You look at your history in this lifetime. You look back on the challenges that you faced, the major challenges that you faced in your lifetime so far. The breakups, the job losses, the grieving, and everything in between. And you look at these challenges that you have faced in your life. And you reflect on the way that you have grown as a person. Despite the difficulties that you have been faced with, no matter how small or big, despite these challenges, you've continued to grow. You've firmed your roots down and you've reached your stem upwards towards the light. And you too have blossomed just like the lotus flower. Despite the murkiness, despite the darkness, you continue to grow. And you are exceptional. And you see yourself in this lotus flower. You see yourself. And you can almost feel this lotus flower imprint its image upon your chest, upon your anahata,
heart chakra. Because within you lives a lotus flower that had to go through many challenges to grow, to strengthen, to flourish. How does it feel to acknowledge your inner lotus flower? How does it feel to, even if you don't really believe it, to just picture this beauty within you? This warm, flourishing, heavenly flower. Maybe it brings you peace. And you enclose this imprint of the lotus flower from the lake. You enclose this visualization into your heart space. And you prepare yourself to slowly stand up from your lakeside position with your mind's eye. Your feet are back on the grass and you turn away from the lake and you look towards the magnificent house and the gorgeous garden. And you walk towards the garden filled with all your favorite plants and your flowers and thriving and buzzing with life. You slowly walk towards the garden Once you get to the garden, you look around and you walk towards the spiral staircase next to the house, slowly. Once you get to the spiral staircase, you put your hand on the banister and with one foot at a time, you step up, up, up the staircase as it spirals. You go through the door leading to the white walled room and you walk through the door and you take a seat in this safe and comfortable space. And you sit back in your meditation in this lovely white walled room. You contemplate the journey you just went on, you observe what emotions it arose within you. You observe and you let your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts pass. And then bring yourself back to this current position that you're in, this current space you're in. Maybe you're in your home, maybe you're in a garden, outside perhaps. Bring awareness back to this body that you inhabit, this temple you inhabit. Bring your thoughts back to your breath, the way it flows in and out of your nose. Bring your hands, one hand on your chest, the other hand on top of your chest. Keep your eyes closed. The other hand on top of the other hand. Your lotus flower lives within you. You will always find it there if you look. And you will always continue to grow through your hardships and through the challenges to come. Let your lips curl into a smile. Take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And softly open your eyes. Release your hands. Well done. Thank you for joining me, whether you're watching this live or in the replay. Um, I have an upcoming workshop next Saturday on the 27th of June. The workshop is for women and it is themed on forgiveness and acceptance, forgiving ourselves, forgiving others around us, accepting ourselves, 
approaching challenging situations with a healthy balance of acceptance and action. So if you're interested, I'll post the event in the comments. Other than that, have a really beautiful day and remember your inner lotus flower. Well done and thank you. Mwah.